computer spreadsheet so refer to your handbook on page 109 so in a spreadsheet the formula this formula right here is entered into cell c3 this contents of cell c3 are copied and pasted into cell d5 so what's the formula in cell d5 so you're gonna have to think of it as if you had excel sheet now we're gonna learn to do it and then I'm gonna do another example where we don't have to actually work it because you don't have that much time but then you will have to guess so essentially here uh, when you have the dollar signs here in front of the row so these are your your letters are your columns and then your uh, numbers are your rows okay so if you have dollar signs in front of both it's called absolute it doesn't change you remain unchanged um, if you have it just in front of the row it's uh, called in front of the, either one actually just one of them is called relative um, designator or whatever they call it so that particular whatever it it's designating remains unchanged so you you'll see what I mean by that so now let's just draw them out so we have oh let's use white so we have a for the column B, C, and D. We don't have any E, so. And now for the rows, we have one, two, three, um, possibly four or five, actually. Yeah. We have four and five. So let's just draw it out and see what we have. Okay. Oops. Okay, let me. All right. So, um, so this formula right here in red is entered into cell C3. What's C3? So this is C3 right here. So let's just put an X here. So now this X here is copied into d5 what's d5 so this is d5 let's put um an x here whatever let's put x here again okay so what did we do we moved from um we moved like this one two and three so we moved one uh row two columns down one two and then you, we have a one here okay so now let's go back to the formula remember when we have dollar signs in front of both the column and the row it remains unchanged whatever we have there remains unchanged and then when we only have it um, either one of them uh, this here remains unchanged but then this changes so if we understand that then you can basically kind of guess what would be the formula right here but you know we, we're just gonna work it out and see what we have and then this of course you're gonna have to move it whatever uh, rows and columns you've moved the initial formula so remember here we moved it from this is copied here so we moved it one one two so one row two columns down one row to the right two columns down you could have also done this like um, two uh, two what is this uh, two rows down I mean two columns down and one row to the right either way is the same thing you end up here okay so now let's see what we have to get that red X so we have um, a4 right so we have a4 here okay and we have B2 with a dollar sign and B2 without a dollar sign so what does that mean is that here this doesn't change at all so whatever you have in D5 you would have a dollar sign for dollar sign 
okay so now let's use green so this right here doesn't change because of the dollar sign so you have automatically you have a four okay so what do we have here we have the first one would be um, B dollar sign two so the dollar sign two does not change because you have the dollar sign so automatically I can put that here so your B changes because there's no dollar sign in front of the B so how do we do that here the two doesn't change so whatever however you change it it uh, it has to be here in this two row in row number two it has to be over here it can't be here because your two doesn't change so you gotta be a C or D now remember your red was uh, moved one column I mean one row to the right so your B has to move from here once okay it's not two it's not to the left if here it if it moved to the left then you would have to move the B to the left but it didn't it's to the right so you have to change it to the right so you have C okay so now from here you can tell that the answer is uh, a automatically but let's just move uh, keep going with our logic okay so B2 there's no dollar sign so whatever we change here one row to the right two columns to the um, two columns down we're gonna have to change the B2 same way so we have um, one here and then one two so it's gotta be here what is this C4 so it's a C4 okay so the logic is is pretty um, it's pretty fun actually fun to do it's just like Excel sheet so I have to you get it um, so we'll do an, another example where we don't we don't have to work it at all we're just gonna guess right away so that um, you see how it works really Okay, so leave comments if you have any questions. Thank you.